All right, so today I'm going to walk you through some of the preset tutorials that are inside Photoshop, um, you know, beyond just adjustments and things like that. Uh, things where you want to blend photos together, combine them together, okay? Uh, so what you want to start with is hitting the little uh, eyeglass right here. And we're going to go down to composite. And I want to start with this flamingo one, then we'll kind of work around. So we'll do actually these three that are already checked off right here. Um, and it's got all these steps in here. Um, I'm loading it just so I can use the photos. So you can follow these steps if you would like. But I notice, like, for example, right here, the blend mode is telling us to change it to screen. However, it's pointing out the wrong one. And a lot of times it gets in the way. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is actually close these out um, or at least minimize it if I can. All right, I'm just going to ignore it basically, <laughs> okay, um, and, and do what it was going to show us anyways, but hopefully it's a little easier following along on here. Okay, so what we have here is we have, well, this is the Adobe stock thing, uh, disclaimer, but we have the flamingos and we have leaves. So uh, when you drop this down, uh, different blend modes does different things. So you can kind of run through there and see what they do. Um, they're all useful in their own way. One very popular one is screen and um, it's it's a it's a good one so we're gonna use it and one thing to know about it is you can apply uh, right here they have the masking mode and we're gonna apply that to leaves for example and this masking white means it's all being shown through but black means um, it'll um, not allow the image to come through so uh, it's a little distracting having some of the colors on the head for example so what we could do over here then is grab a brush and we're going to choose our brush. Now, the size, um, you know, 60 is probably fine. And then hardness. So hardness means like just like this icon shows up here is the, the edge is hard. So uh, it's like drawing with a crayon while hardness at zero is, you know, painting with uh, a brush. Um, that's a really soft edge to it. So we're going to hardness of zero. And since we are selected right here on this white mask, we are going to change some of it to black. And as I color it in and you let go, you can see this tiny little dot in the corner. Um, but I'm going to go over the beak and the, and the head. And you don't have to be real precise with this, but, you know, maybe down the neck here as well. And it's going to get rid of it. So if we look at it now, you can see it's got the, the kind of the shape of the head right there on the flamingo. And we can turn off the background to show you what it looks like. And that's what it does. Now, if I made a mistake, what I can do is change this to white. And, um, you know, maybe I do want to go over the beak and I can just color that area in. And again, I can turn it off here and and uh, see that difference. Um, and really, I'm at normal 60 right now. We could go all the way to 100, for example. Um, but I'm not erasing it. Rather, I'm, I'm showing, um, I'm either showing the leaves or I can switch to black or I'm not showing the leaves, all right? And that's applying to um, that image right there, the leaves, okay? Um, so once I'm happy with that, uh, one thing you can also consider doing is taking the entire layer right here and changing the opacity. So, you know, do you want it to be very stark, you know, or really noticeable and it's blending right on top of things? That's up to you. And then the last thing would be, let's put an adjustment layer on it. So um, I'm gonna click on the top layer here and here is our adjustment layers, the one with the uh, circle with a line through it. And all of these could do some great things for us. Uh, I, I like it other than maybe we want to turn up the vibrance. So actually let's do hue and saturation. Uh, hue and saturation is like all the colors across the entire range. Such so vibrance is just uh, making certain colors more intense. So uh, here's saturations at zero, just to show you, you can go black and white, or you can make it really neon and pop so just go ahead and put that where you want i just think adding some saturation is nice for the stylistic photo that we have here um one thing to also note is you can apply this to the layer right below it or all the layers right now it's applying it to the two layers below it but if you want to apply it to just the layer below it you can click this and it only applies to the leaves so that way you can see the it's applying to the flamingo or not the flamingo um so i'm going to leave it unchecked so it's applying to all of it all right all right, so that's it for this uh, video. I'm gonna do two more here, but I'm gonna separate them, I think. So there you go. Let's pause this one. All right, thanks, and move on to the next.